In this video, we're gonna take a look at Facebook's new multi-person live broadcasting and exactly how to use it. Plus, we'll also show you how you can supercharge your Facebook Lives and get more than two people involved live and a ton of advanced features as well. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. We release a ton of content to help you get better results with your videos faster. If you're new here, then make sure you click that big subscribe button and all the links to everything that we're gonna cover in this video, you can find linked in the description below. So let's jump into it. Facebook Live is an incredibly powerful way to connect and engage with your audience online. And now with a new multi-person functionality, it's way more powerful than ever. We're gonna run through exactly how it works and some of the benefits so that you can get started right away as soon as it's enabled on your device. Facebook Live multi-person broadcasting was actually a feature that they started to roll out a little while ago and then they stopped the rollout and pulled the feature. So now they've revamped it and they're running it out again, but at the time of filming this video, not everyone has access to this feature yet. It's not currently available on desktop or on Android, it's only available on iOS and only on selected accounts. So if the feature isn't available for you yet, then keep an eye out because it should be coming soon. Now before I jump in and show you the process and how this actually works, one of the coolest features that this currently has, and I say currently has because I don't know if they're gonna keep this feature, is the notifications and the way that it handles the notifications for the guest and for the host of the live stream. So typically with a Facebook Live, if you're the host, you're the one that's creating the live stream, your audience, your friends, your followers will be notified that you're live, so they'll, they can join your live stream. But what's happening at the moment is that the guest or whoever you bring in to your live streams, a notification goes out to all of their friends or followers as well, which is pretty awesome. So whether you're hosting a live stream or you're coming in as a guest, it means that both of your audiences get notified that you're live and both of them can join the live stream in real time and, and join the conversation and really get involved. So the cross-pollination between different people's profiles and, and audiences is amazing. So the potential for growth and interaction is really, really powerful at this point. And the reason I say that it might get pulled or, or they might pull the pin on this feature is due to the amount of notifications that people could be receiving based on who their friends are following. So this could be something that gets a bit annoying after a while because you're now getting twice the amount of notifications that people are live because it's whether they're a guest or whether they're hosting the live stream. So I don't know, but at the moment, it's a pretty cool feature. Okay, so all you need to do to get it going is to go live as you normally would using the Facebook Live app. And as I said earlier, currently this is only on iOS. So open up the Facebook app, select live, add a description for your live video as you normally would. Now, before you press that go live button, you'll need to make the choice of whether you're going to go live in portrait or landscape. Now, you can't change this while you're live, so this is the time to pick. Before you press the button, are you going to be vertical or horizontal? Now, if your plan is to bring in guests, then I would recommend that you do it horizontal or in landscape, because then it will be a 50-50 screen split. So you'll get one half and they'll get the other, which makes it much easier for your viewers to watch. If you're in portrait, you can still invite someone in, but they'll be a small picture in picture or a small little box in the top corner of the video. Now the other thing you can do before you go live is to press the little magic wand button in the top right corner. And in there you'll have access to filters. You'll also have access to horizontal flip and vertical flip of your video image. So what that will let you do is to mirror your shot so that if you've got any writing that's in your video, it's not gonna appear backwards. You can also boost the brightness of your shot in there as well. Under filters, there's six different filters or color effects that you can add to your video. And you can also add some Snapchat-like effects to your videos as well. When you're ready to go live, just hit go live as you normally would. Now to invite someone into your live stream and to be a part of your live stream, all you need to do is just swipe across to the right and you can see a list of your live viewers. Select the person that you want to invite and choose invite. Now from their end, they'll get a notification on screen saying they've been invited to join your live stream where they'll get to accept or decline. And even after they accept or even after they hit go live, it won't bring them in until they match their screen orientation with your screen orientation. So it will tell them to rotate the phone if they need to, to match the orientation of the broadcast that you're doing. Now to kick that person out from your broadcast or to remove them from your broadcast, 
next to their name or next to their profile picture, there's a little X. You just have to hit that and they'll be booted out from your live stream. The other important thing to note is that currently this will only work with profiles. It won't work in pages or in groups. So it's a personal profile account only that this feature is enabled on. But again, I'm sure that we'll see it in pages and in groups soon enough. Now going live multi-person to Facebook Live, as we've just shown you using the Facebook app, you are limited to two people as a maximum on the live stream. So yourself as the host plus one guest. Now you can add and remove guests as many times as you want during the live stream, but your maximum people count is two. If you're looking to add more people, if you want more people on your Facebook Lives, then take a look at BeLive.tv or Crowdcast.io. Both of these will let you go live to Facebook Live and both of them will let you bring in multiple people. Now, currently at the time of filming this video, BeLive.tv is still limited to two people, but they've already announced the feature and shown that it works to bring in a third person with rumors of a fourth coming in as well. And currently, BeLive.tv is free. Crowdcast, on the other hand, is a paid offering, but you'll get some really advanced controls and some really advanced features for your Facebook Lives. So both of those are worth checking out if you wanna take your Facebook Lives to the next level. So that's how you can go live on Facebook Live multi-person using the Facebook app. If you found this video helpful, then make sure you click that big subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and check out the video linked on screen now for the best live streaming software if you're looking to live stream through your computer. I'll see you soon.